Ugandan President Yori Museveni has given an update on the health status of musician turned lawmaker that is Bobby Wine. It is the first official clarification of the health of the lawmaker in question. Bobby Wine is currently facing treason charges before military tribunal over the possessions of uh, possession of weapons. Local media reported last week he is now standing at trial before military tribunal. The president used. The first three paragraphs of his letters released on political ongoings in the country to address Bobby Wine's health, but also slam prominent media outlets for peddling what he said as fake news in relation to the issue. On Thursday, two lawyers who attended a military session where one of the MPs, Robert Changulani, was brought in to be charged, said he was unable to talk or even walk both visible injuries and was not aware of his surroundings. Security agents barred other people, including Changulani's wife and relatives, from attending the hearing. And still in Uganda, Uganda's opposition, however, insist that five Ugandan lawmakers have been detained and tortured by security personnel thereafter images of one of their bruised parliamentarians emerged on social media among them is robert changulani lawmaker and musician also known as bobby wine who has gained popularity since he joined parliament last year uh, through scathing criticism of president yoweri museveni's government police say changulani and francis zake were arrested after supporters of an independent candidate running in parliamentary by election threw stones at museveni's motorcade on monday in the west nile region during the incident changulani's driver was shot dead government spokesman of wono opondo denied security personnel had deliberately beaten up the lawmaker and others saying some of these injuries could have been sustained in the course of the confrontation in Uganda is not in favor of Museveni young he has to use violence if he has to keep in power and we know he wants to stay in power and we see him we see our story like in all of us younger people in this country we see our story and we see the future he might not I, i'm not saying a lot of people say oh he's going to be the president or something i don't believe that he might be or he might not be but i believe that he's a good political mobilizer i believe that he's, he has a very good uh, skills very unfortunate that 70 75 percent of the voters in uganda today are the youths we are the majority but now uh, the regime of president Museveni is charging us to do something which is illegal in quotes according to them but it's legal constitutionally if we see that someone is misdirecting our country the constitution allows us to fight whoever is doing so Well, those are developments from Kampala, Uganda. Now joining me in studio is security analyst Anok Makanga. Anok, good to see you. Welcome to Bottom Line Africa. Thank you, thank you. You've seen developments in Uganda. They understand you've worked there. You've had experience in that country. First of all, before you give us a history, a uh, rough picture of how Museveni came into power and, you know, uh, some of the dynamics in that country. Perhaps can you tell us, talk us through about Bobby Wine's arrest and subsequent detention. Is this really reasonable from a security point of view? Um... Uh Thank you for inviting me. I don't think it's reasonable because mm -hmm. uh, in the first place, um, this guy is being detained in a military camp. Mm -hmm. Then you don't understand because, you know, this is not a military man. This is a civilian. Mm -hmm. He's a member of parliament who is a civilian. So when you arrest um, a civilian and you take him to a military, military camp, mm -hmm. it doesn't add up. He was supposed to be arrested and be taken to a police station. And from there, as a civilian, the rule of law follow follows um, the, the, the route but uh, mm -hmm. uh, the way things are going um, you can find that uh, maybe my former boss is really worried of uh, mm -hmm. this young man because uh, uh, maybe he says that the, the boy could create a problem in Uganda and it seems like he's the new exactly in, in Uganda yes. and we've seen the clashes there protesters yeah. in Kampala yeah. Uganda yeah. the pictures that we've just run there yes. of you know police running engaging in running battles with yeah. some of those who are demanding the release of Bobby wine I mean from your own point of view what do you think the government of Uganda should do because this seems to be running out of control I think uh, uh, Museveni with the ESX and the president of Museveni I think is doing a very big blunder mm -hmm. and the blunder is, is making Bobby wine popular and he has already done it mm -hmm. this is a young man and you know, in any, in any country, 
youths make the biggest population. Mm -hmm. So when you start a war with a young man, and then you just know that uh, your days are numbered. If mm -hmm. Mukabe, Mukabe had to go out of, this, the, out of the game, mm -hmm. then now this boy could create a very serious problem in Uganda because already as things are going right now. Mm -hmm. I've received phone calls from there. I've seen what's happening in WhatsApp, on social media. I think he needs to change tact. Mm -hmm. And if possible, he needs to release this guy as soon as yesterday. Mm -hmm. Because the more he keeps him in the, in the military camp, the more things are going to be get, to get more complicated and the more you, Uganda could run into problems. And we, not lie to, we don't want to see our neighbor, Uganda, in a problem like the one we had here in 207. What does this say about Museveni's leadership, bearing in mind that he was uh, some time back, you know, he, was it through a coup that he took power? Yes. So what does this say about him as a person and perhaps the status of democracy in, in Uganda? Um, I think uh, Uganda has not reached where we've reached, so we cannot compare Uganda and Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of democracy, they are still far. They are still far in terms of uh, reaching where we are. Mm -hmm. So I think the best thing I can say is that uh, they have a long way to go mm -hmm. to reach where we are in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. So perhaps your advice to a former boss, as you already mentioned. <laughs> I think I could advise him to let uh -huh. this boy come out of uh, the honorable member of parliament, uh -huh. come out of uh, um, Makindi, uh, the where. where has been detained as soon as yesterday mm -hmm. so that uh, the tension goes down otherwise mm -hmm. the more this boy this uh, member of parliament is kept in a uh, in 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 a uh, in, in military camp mm -hmm. i think the more things are going to get tight and i can telling you i'm telling you right now things are going to blow up the mm -hmm. youth will come out of the streets uh -huh. and he will be in problems and there are a lot of people asking where is Bessie in this because everybody thought like you know he's the face of opposition in uganda does it mean that you know he's been made you know almost you know redundant there in uganda that bobby wine is now taking over his place uh, i think bobby wine has come at the right time <laughs> i think uh my friend Bessie should uh, think outside the box. I think his, his political career has ended. Mm -hmm. Because even if you saw him coming in, I don't think he has a big crowd like uh, Bobby Wine. Bobby Wine, I think, because of the youth and who he is, and being a musician, mm -hmm. um, uh, a renowned musician, I think he has an, over, he has an upper hand over BCJ. Of course, we're going to keep a keen eye on the development in Kampala, Uganda, there for our viewers. Many thanks, Enoch Makanga, for thank your you, input. You so and of course, we're still uh, trying to hook up with Nicholas Opio, who is a human rights.